Hi, that was my version of Give Me Back My Wig by Hound Dog Taylor. This is a very cool blues because it's quite different than a lot of other blues songs. I'm tuned to G, by the way. G, D, G. The song is in E, but it works out in G tuning because he's playing the blues lick an octave higher than you usually hear it. Now, I didn't play it quite like that. I'd like to explain that. In the tab, it's going to look like... And technically, that's correct. So even though I wrote it in the tab like that, when you play it, you want to really play all your strings. So once you've got that lick, you've pretty much got the song. Being a 12-bar blues, it plays that lick four times, down here at the ninth fret, the E chord which in this case becomes the one chord so four times then you go up to the 14th fret if you can if you can't go to the second fret that's a 14th fret is also a it'll sound more like the record if you go up here and play the same lick same thing try to play all your strings and those notes will kind of pop out automatically Anyway, you do the lick twice there, then you go back, and that would be the four chord. Then you go back to the one chord, twice. And then it changes a bit. One guitar actually keeps doing that, but it sounds like the main guitar, which I'm assuming is him, goes up here and it slides from 12 to 13. And does that kind of thing. Except that I wouldn't pick it like that. That's you know kind of how I'm going to tab it. But I would try to keep that rhythm going. And then the same thing, two frets lower. That's a five chord, which is actually the sixteenth fret. And then down two frets for the four chord. So that's eleven and fourteen. And then back to the one chord. Now here you do uh, the one chord for four beats or one repetition and you start repeating it and then go to the five chord. In this case it goes down low. So it'll be like this. Like that. A little snap there. Now, if you're listening to the record, you'll notice that one guitar actually stays there. While the other guitar, very strongly, goes... So you can sort of pick either part. You can do it the way I did it, or you can just stay on the uh, lick. So once the singing starts, he doesn't play the lick. He plays just rhythm. And then inserts the lick after he's sang a line. And he doesn't even always insert a lick, but most of the time he does. Now on the four chord and the five chord, 14 and 16, or two and four, he mostly just plays rhythm. So that's all you need to get through the song. I hope you have fun with that. Have a great day. Bye.